What's up everybody? Welcome back to another LEGO Lover 117 video. This video today is on my complete Thomas Wooden Railway collection. This I ran a poll on Twitter a couple of weeks ago and you guys voted that you wanted to see the Thomas Wooden Railway collection video first. So here we go, we're kicking off collection month pretty much because there's going to be four collection videos uploaded uh, throughout the next four weeks. There's this collection video, there's the Thomas Home Media collection, there's complete Funko Pop collection coming, as well as complete Blu-ray slash DVD collection that's not actually Thomas Home Media. However, you guys voted to see the Thomas Wooden Railway collection video first, which I didn't expect you guys to vote for that to go first. I expected Home Media to win, but I guess it makes sense. I haven't done a Thomas Wooden Railway collection video since 2016. Main reason for that was because I just didn't have a lot of new stuff in 2017. I, I hadn't been buying a lot, and I haven't been buying a lot this year either, but it actually has accumulated to a pretty decently sized collection. A lot of other Thomas Wooden Railway users have larger collections than I do, and you know what? That's okay. I just buy the characters that I like or that I would like to use in my series. So let's go ahead and get started. This first section here is just one of every character. Duplicates are in a separate box, and they'll be coming up uh, in the next section. So we'll start off with my original 2001 Thomas from my childhood. I love this thing. I've used it in every single one of my series or wooden railway videos. I would never want to use any other Thomas. My original Edward, 2003 Henry, 2014 Gordon, 2000, I was about to say 2005, but no, I'm pretty sure that's a 2002 James. It's the fat James, but my old style James's paint is coming apart off of it, so I use this one instead now. One of my original style Percy's, Toby, 2014 Duck, because it just looks amazing. Donald and Douglas, I believe they're both from 2001. Old style Oliver, a old style Daisy, Boko. 2014 Bill and Ben, Harry and Bert, the old style, not the new styles because the new styles just look ugly to me. 2001, 2000 Lady, I don't remember the date for, I don't remember the dates for a lot of these. It's actually been a long time since I pulled these models out from underneath my bed, so uh, this video might be a little choppy. Splatter and Dodge, Diesel 10, and the Flying Scotsman, including both of his tenders. I think in the last collection video I didn't have the water tender maybe? Or no, I did have the water tender. I had the 2014 Gordon by then. Both of those came from Roman the TWR Collector, or Roman's TWR Empire as he's now known uh, in today's world. He used to be Roman the TWR Collector, but he changed it. Changed his username. Salty, Harvey, Arthur... Come on camera, focus. There it goes. Arthur, Emily, Murdoch, Spencer. I remember I woke up one Christmas morning and had like all four of these on my train table and I was just so, so excited. A lot of great memories with a lot of these toys. They're just, God, these were, these were my childhood, man. These were, these were amazing toys for any kid. Cory Dust Mavis, uh, the 2011 Derek, you can tell because the back is yellow instead of black. Uh, Spam Can. Old Style Stepney, 2017 Stanley, which I like more than the original Stanley. I think this one looks way better. The Egg City Engine, or the Foreign Engine. Old Style Diesel, one of my two Dennis models. Samson, Hugo, Victor, Frank, Bert, one of my Mikes, Norman, and Paxton. Still don't have Sydney. Never actually picked up Sydney. Steven, Fergus, this was a, this, this, this is an original Fergus, you can tell because the wheels are painted. Although some of the Mattel ones do have the wheels painted, but I've also seen some of them where they're just white. Philip, Sam, another gift from Roman's TWR Empire. Ryan, Neil, Connor, Skiff, Coldy, 2015 Coldy, which I think looks better than the um, old style one because it looks like it's a standard gauge engine. I don't know, that could be a positive and a negative in some people's minds. I think it's a positive. Logan, Ashima. I really only bought her because she was like the last Thomas Wooden Railway item at my local Toys R Us before it closed. Wilbert, old style Scarloe, 
Reneus, Sir Handel, Peter Sam, Rusty, Duncan, Ivo Hugh, Bertram, Luke, and Duke. Oh, I didn't realize I had Luke and Duke next to each other. This isn't officially Thomas Wooden Railway, it's the Brio Polar Express that came packed in with the DVD release, whenever that was. And I just included it here because it was like the last one railway item that was sitting in the bin where I keep all of these guys. And I didn't want him to feel lonely. So I'm pretty sure I've showed this off on camera before, but I don't ever really use it for anything. But it's um it's nice. I hear it's kind of rare too, so that's kind of nice to have. So that is the uh, main section of my wooden railway collection. We're going to go ahead and transition into the duplicate section after I put all these guys away. All right, so we're back with the duplicate section, a significantly smaller section, but I do have quite a few uh, Thomases, as any Thomas Wooden Railway fan uh, would have. So let's go ahead and begin. This is my original 94 Thomas that I bought off of eBay. He has flat magnets and such. He's very nice. I just turned into a Ted impression there. Oh yes, it's a, it's a, it's a uh, flat magnet Thomas and it's a very nice. I'm from, I'm from Canada. I'm very nice. I'm a very nice person. That was a Ted slash Donald Trump impression. <laughs> Here's my second 94 Thomas. I picked this up in a set actually, a 1994 Thomas Wooden Railway set. I think it was the instant system set number two two I think it's the one where it has the arch stone bridge and it's just an oval it has Thomas a milk tanker and a solar line caboose included in it I pretty sure it was the instant system set too if someone could fact check that for me but I picked it up off of eBay um, it was like 20 bucks so why not right I got a bunch of extra track from it too and this Thomas actually has round magnets so he also comes from 94 he's a he's a little bit more beat up than this 94 Thomas then we have a 1997 Thomas, a out of puff Thomas from 1990 from 1999, I think. Let me check that. Real quick. Yep, 1999. No name on the bottom or anything. Plastic funnel though. Next to another 99 Thomas, which has lost a fair amount of paint. Um, not from my own self. I I forget where I acquired that from, but I'm pretty sure I told the story in like a previous video. So if you guys want to find that out. Watch all of my previous videos. I'm pretty sure I told the story in one of them. Because I don't remember the story myself. Uh, three Thomases with no stripes. They're all new style from 2003 to 2004, I believe. And then one Thomas with the stripes. It's funny because a lot of people tell me that, oh, the Thomases with no stripes, those are the rare versions. You could find the striped version everywhere. Not me, though. All I could find were no stripes, and then the striped version was rare to me. I just find that kind of ironic. Snowplow Thomas from that Christmas 3-pack, and then two CGI Thomases. One of them came from uh, the Merrick and the Rock Crusher set, and then the other one came packaged with a sampler DVD that we're going to be looking at on HMR coming up pretty soon. We have two old style Henry's. One of them was from my childhood. The other one came from my grandparents' house when they sold their uh, train table. It was mas it was it was mostly Brio stuff, but but they kept all the Thomas Wooden Railway stuff and gave it to me because they knew I was a fan. Childhood Gordon, old style version, and then 2003 or 2002 Gordon. I forget. Yeah, he's dated 2003, so I'm gonna say 2003 Gordon for that. Old style James, my childhood James, as you can see on his cab, the paint is definitely chipping away very slowly but steadily, and I, I don't use him very often now. His smoke box is also incredibly loose. You could just like shake his head like that. Eat. Busy as a B James, picked this up at the Trains Galore closing sale. Still sad that that website closed down, it was a really good site, but I got him for like nine bucks or something, and that face is amazing. We have my first old style Percy. This one came from my childhood and he makes the weird noise as he rolls along the tracks. A new style Percy that I got from one of those wooden train bonus pack sets. I think he came with Thomas Gets Tricked. The, the Adventures of Percy set with chocolate covered Percy, Jack Frost Percy who is looking significantly more yellow than white nowadays, and the Coal Dust Percy which I think is the most practical uh, Percy because you can use him in any shot that requires Percy to be dirty. I can't remember what this one's called. 
celebrating 60 years, Percy. Uh, I won this in Wooden Railway Only's uh, contest for my remake of Stepney Gets Lost. So that's very special to me. And the Silver Percy from another 60th anniversary uh, item. So between Thomas and Percy, I have more Thomases, but I also have a fair amount of Percy's. Kind of weird. Here's my old style duck. My old style Coldy that I got in a day at the work set. My second, Dennis, who I have named Daniel. My new style lady from 2003. I don't know. You guys can fact check this in the comments. It's been a long time since I've done any research for Wooden Railway stuff. I've just kind of moved away from Wooden Railway. We have old style Bill and Ben. And then this engine, who is a new style... I think it's Ben. Yeah, it's Ben. He's he's the he's the blue one. This is from this is from a Barnes and Noble. Um, I actually kind of took this from Barnes and Noble. Well, actually, not kind of. I did take it because I thought I could use it for like a custom or something, but I haven't really done anything with it. And it and it it's just beaten to hell. You can see where the face was just completely removed, and I have no idea how those kids did that. I don't know how it got this much edge wear on it, but it's. I thought it was kind of funny to find that in a store. It was on one of those display tables and like I said I thought I could paint it like brown make it into a scrap engine but I haven't done much with it yet. Uh, it did make a cameo in one of my episodes in my remastered season one. I think it was Fergus Takes the Express. It was on a siding uh, next to the docks. Old style Mavis. She still has the stickers on her from my childhood if you recall. I used to put stickers on my engines when I was younger. Most of them have come off, but like with Mavis, she still has some residue. There's a couple still on her. If you notice on my uh, Edward, yeah, he still has some residue from a sticker on the side of his cab. We have the Oliver from 2006 and the Oliver from 2014, which means I've completed the Oliver collection. And there will be a Oliver Redux review on the 2006 version coming soon to the channel whenever I get around to filming that. This is the 2013 Scar Lowy, not the 2012 one, which has looks better in my opinion, but the 2013 one ain't bad. And then there's my second mic. So that's the duplicate section. The final section is rolling stock. All right, so here we go. Here's the rolling stock section. Mm, it's bigger than the duplicate section. Not sure if it's bigger than the main section. I didn't count because I'm still on summer break when I'm filming this, and I don't want to do math. So to start off, we have the breakdown train. This is the old style version. The metallic green, as some people say, but it looks brown to me. Three express coaches. One of them, this one right here, came from one railway only. That was part of the Secret Santa. Thank you again, bro, for that. You really helped me make a TV series accurate uh, express train. I've always wanted three express coaches and now I do. Thank you, bro. You're you're a great guy. 1994 or 92 not for the express coach. Who really knows? It's probably 94. Two great troublesome trucks. This one also came from one railway only. Cool to have two of those now. New style scruffy made of all plastic with that little exploding dynamite feature. Um, that was new for 2017, the last year of Wooden Railway's uh, existence before it was unceremoniously killed. We have the slate truck, also from that two pack. One of the, also one of the pack, one of the last packs I ever picked up from a Toys R Us before mine closed. We have the old style rickety, or the original rickety, basically the teal one. The giggling chubs and truck two pack from I think it was new for 2013 when that came out. I don't have the old style, but I know I got a little criticized for getting the new style because the trucks have, quote, baby faces. I don't care. I just wanted more trucks. We have a barrel car that came from that came from Wooden Railway only with the oil barrel. I don't have the petrol. I had the oil, just not the car. One part of that Christmas three-pack that came with the Snowplow Thomas. This is the present car with the present cargo intact. And then some more cargo cars. We have one Yumsters cargo car. A Yumsters cargo piece. Sodor cargo company piece along with the cargo car. Another Sodor cargo company. Or no, this is Sodor shipping company. It's a, that's a different company entirely, I think. But also with cargo car. And the original Yumsters cargo piece with some chew marks in it. When my... It's funny. 
When my dog Steeler was a puppy, which seems like a lifetime ago, he's he is now 12 years old and he's very old and very crotchety for an old man. But anyway, when he was a puppy, he used to chew on stuff and he apparently got to my Yumster's cargo piece. Uh, crazy to, to think that Steeler, you were only, you know, one or two when you got your hands on that Yumster's and now you're 12 and laying on my couch asleep. Oh, I love you, bud. A cargo car with a rock piece from the Merrick and the Rock Crusher set. Yeah, I do have that set. I think I mentioned with one of the CGI Thomases. Um, he came with that set. I bought it from Tuesday morning. Uh, one of my Tuesday mornings actually closed recently. Um, I guess I just closed because they weren't making enough money and they went out of business. But that's but that's the Tuesday morning where I bought the Merrick set. And then the cargo car from the Logan and the Big Blue Engines book pack, which is where my Logan came from. Bought that from Marshalls for extraordinarily cheap. Old style Annie and Clarabelle. The glow in the dark two pack from Henry in the dark. Again, one of the last few items from Toys R Us I picked up. This car is actually awesome. I love this car. How it lights up like that. And this actually does glow in the dark. It actually um, has a very neat feature that goes And another cargo car. I love cargo cars. They're one of my favorite items from the Thomas Wooden Railway, even though they're not wood, but they basically can function as anything. We have two Sodor Honey Company cars. One of them came from Wooden Railway only. Neither one of them have the Honey Cargo. The one that I had as a child had the Honey Cargo with it, but I lost it years ago. Old Style Scruffy came in the day at the work set. The Gold Mine Rick Giddy. One half of the Sodor Recycling Company cars. I lost the little tire cargo that goes inside of it years ago. It's probably somewhere in one of my old houses before I lived in this one. The other half of Oliver's Fossil Freight with the fossil dinosaur guy in his little zoo car there. The Sodor China Clay Company cars. I got that in a lot off of eBay with my Boko, which makes sense because they because he comes from the Soto China Clay Company. Two Tidmouth Milk Tankers. This was the tanker I've had for the longest time. This is the tanker that came with that instant system set I was telling you guys about in the previous section. You can tell it's kind of old and kind of yellowed. Sodor Fuel Tanker, which is in horrible, horrible shape, but this came from uh, Hero the Japanese Train. Um, he stole a troublesome brake fan from me that I was going to buy in like 2014, so he sent me some stuff to make up for it. Sodor Search and Rescue Tanker. I got this with the Sodor Search and Rescue Destination. I found it at Marshall's for extraordinarily cheap, and yeah, it's cool. Uh, one of the three pieces from the Sodor Railway Repair, I don't remember where I got this from, but it does serve as a like a cargo car or something. Rolling stock, so... I don't need the other pieces, I don't really care about the Soto Railway repair. My Chinese knockoff old slow coach, which looks totally fine. 1992 Henrietta. One Soto Line Caboose. This came from the Instant System set. Again, it's a little beat up, but it's fine. And my other two Soto Line ca Cabooses, which I've had forever. The last half, or the last piece of that three Christmas pack. This is the Winter Wonderland caboose, or just Winter Caboose as it says on the bottom there. Ada, Jane, and Mabel. The other half of the recycling cars, which I think is a it's a bit of an underrated item. I mean this detail is pretty amazing for you know plastic and stuff. I mean this car is mostly plastic, but I really like it though. It's got it's got great detail to it with those uh, recyclables on top there. The rolling stock from the Rusty and the Construction Cars pack. I lost the cargo to the dumper um, a long time ago. So. The 2006 re-release of Toad the Brake Van. I never had a Toad as a kid. So I was really excited to, to get one off the second-hand market. Three box cars. Two green ones, which came from my grandparents, and the yellow one, which came in my very first set ever, which was the uh, figure eight set with the gray arch stone bridge. The 10 Years in America car that came with the Great Festival Adventure game. It came uh, packed in with that. I don't have the Thomas for it. And then the old style aquarium cars, which a lot of people hate the uh, aquarium cars, and I can understand why. They don't make any sense. 
This shark would be dead because it doesn't have anywhere for it to move. It Sharks breathe by swimming, so he would be, you know, dead. And I don't know about the octopus. He seems a little... He seems a little cramped in there. But, yeah, apologies if the camera went out of focus there. I don't have a lot of light to work with, but I actually like these. Um, they can serve as just vans. You know, as long as you don't show the shark or the octopus, they can just serve as, like, vans on a railway, you know? I don't like the newer ones because they're not square. They're, like, actual, like, quote, aquarium cars, and they don't look real at all. Then again, neither do these, but you get my point, I hope. So I know I said this was the last section, but... There's actually a section that I completely forgot about. The roadway vehicles. Yeah, you guys thought I wasn't going to show off these guys. But this is the final section, though. Jack. Alfie. My Terrence with no treads. I think every kid lost the treads for Terrence. Unless you were responsible, which I was not. The 2003 Rarity the Bus. I used to have a second one. I don't know where it is. I lost it years ago. Bulgy. The double liquor bus. This weird Brio truck that also came in that package from here, the Japanese train. Or Matt Twillman, as a lot of people call him. Trevor, the traction engine. George, the steamroller. Yeah, Butch, the breakdown vehicle with wonky eyes. I don't think that's standard for every model, but mine has really wonky eyes. Caroline Elizabeth, my first truck. I thought you had been lost. The Soder Bay Tugboat, and to round out this collection, Harold the Helicopter. So that, ladies and gentlemen, is my complete Thomas Wynn Railway collection. Hope you enjoyed this video. Maybe I'll do one of these collections like every two years, because I think that honestly works out better than, you know, doing it every year like a DVD or a Blu-ray or Thomas Home Media collection, because this, this collection just doesn't grow as much as the other ones. I haven't bought a new Thomas Wynn Railway item in ages, but I thought I'd show you guys some of the newer stuff that I'd picked up in this collection video. I don't know what collection video is coming out next week, but rest assured, there will be one. Thank you guys so much for watching, and as always, good night everybody. <laughs>